This is Roblox, the wildly popular online platform with more than 43 million daily users who both play and create games on their own. And while its bright colors and block-like avatars may appear kid-friendly, some users, like 17-year-old Brianna Toms, say Roblox can be anything but child's play. It looked like a bedroom that I joined into, and then I saw morphs on the side, and then it said, like, male and female, and then as soon as I clicked on, like, female, I had, like, their, like, chests and stuff, but they're naked. What do you think about these types of spaces existing within where you just like to play games? It's gross because, you know, little kids can stumble upon it, and I don't think any parent wants to have that conversation when their kid's, like, five, six years old. Brianna is describing the first time she accidentally stumbled into a strip club on Roblox, or what's called a condo game or scented game. These are user-created X-rated digital experiences where players can remove their avatar's clothes, make them simulate lewd acts, and even accessorize them with adult toys. Brianna says she found the game through a third-party chat platform for gamers and immediately told her mother about what she saw. What was your first reaction? I, I was appalled. I couldn't believe it. According to its community standards, Roblox does not allow sexual content or activity of any kind. And it doesn't believe condo games are widespread because of its stringent safety system in place to help monitor the platform. In a statement to NBC News, Roblox says in part, on the rare instances where we find or are pointed to people or content that violate our rules, our moderators swiftly remove it and take other strong actions. It is misleading to suggest such isolated instances reflect the family-friendly Roblox experience. While most condo games disappear just as quickly as they appear, experts consider each one a battle in Roblox's long-running shadow war against technology. This is basically a game of whack-a-mole whereby every single time they try to take down one or two different games, 12 to 20 get popped back up within a matter of minutes. Jeff Haynes, who serves as senior editor of video games at Common Sense Media, says developers constantly find new ways to bypass Roblox's moderation system, potentially exposing kids to predators who offer online currency that's part of Roblox. Kids who are playing Roblox want Robux. With the offer there, potential, a predator saying, hey, I'll give you Robux for X, Y, Z, or if you come into this game, you can earn Robux. Is that a concern for parents? Absolutely. There are plenty of ports where predators have offered kids Robux to check out a game, check out this site. Roblox says it has zero tolerance for predatory behavior, adding, quote, we specifically monitor for and block chat behavior that indicates an attempt to bring a player off our platform. Still, condo games might be easier to find than you'd think. 17-year-olds Alex and David, who asked us not to use their last names, fearing for their safety, run a popular Twitter account, which reports the latest Roblox news to its nearly a quarter of a million followers. They say other accounts on social media lay out roadmaps to these dark corners. There'll generally be these short, quick, snappy videos that get your attention. They'll be like, oh, join this game at this link and it'll be hidden under a different name. Pretty much just masking the name and uh, looks of it just to fool the moderation system. So Roblox will take longer to find the needle in the haystack. Brianna even showed us just how quickly she could find a condo game, again, using a third party chat platform can like morph into like boobs and other parts. See, I'm getting followed around by one of them. Oh wow. Two of them. Much of this game too inappropriate for us to show. Yeah, it's not, it's not a good place. Despite these disturbing images, it doesn't have to mean game over when it comes to playing Roblox, but it does mean staying vigilant. The report, what you see, come to mom and dad. Kids are a lot smarter than what we think they are. I'm hoping they do the right thing, and I'm hoping the parents do the right thing as well. Now, Roblox tells us it works continuously to improve its safety system, that moderation system we talked about. It includes a 24-7 team of thousands across the world who are working to take these down. Mm. So, Savannah, what do parents do 
to make sure they keep their kids safe. Are there any safeguards or settings you can put on this? Absolutely. We've actually got a lot of tips for parents because the idea here is not just to scare you. So we spoke to experts. The first one is you got to know a little bit about Roblox yourself. Have you ever tried it? It is so difficult. I, I play know. with my kids and I'm bumping into walls. It's, it's No, I know. And you don't need to know how to play it necessarily because I know it is hard. I can't do it either. But just how it works, understand, sit with your kids, see how it is that they're clicking into games, what their home pages look like, that type of thing. Another big tip, disable the chat function uh. within Roblox. This is going to make it much harder for a stranger to make contact with your I'm child. So happy you're saying this. I didn't even know there was a chat function. Yeah. I'm, I'm being completely honest. So, but doesn't Roblox monitor its chat feature? They do, and that's something that they absolutely want parents to know. So they use software filters on that internal chat feature, which does not allow what they say the sending of images or video via chat or one-on-one -on -one user interactions. And for users under the age of 13, it's also going to block what they call personally identifiable information. So that's phone numbers, addresses, mm -hmm. things like that. What about parents who want to go even further? Is there anything else? they can do. There absolutely is. So with Roblox, you can set a pin actually to protect your settings. So here's the thing. A predator could say to your child, hey, go in and change your settings so that then they're able to do more oh than what you goodness. want them to do. But if you set that pin and your kid doesn't know it, then they are not going to be able to change any of those settings and it can remain in place. And again, Roblox is doing a good job with taking these down as soon as they see them. The problem is just that they pop up a lot. Mm -hmm. and, and should you, I mean, maybe be in the room while you're kid is playing that? Yes, uh, it's a good idea too. The, the expert said that if you have this gaming going on in a room where you can see and hear it because mm -hmm. nobody's talking to your child that way, it's a little bit better. I have it on both of and my if, phones. Can you put if, those settings on? I know, I know, right? I'll, I will, I will. If your kid's playing and they see something that's a little... Tell you, communication so that's important. Good. Yes. Right. You want to make good. sure that your child knows that they can come to you if they see something like that and not what just going to get in trouble. What an eye opener. It's very good. Savannah, yeah. thank, thank you absolutely. so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.